phone with me which is weird but it is Thursday I think today is the oh my god don't smell that oh my god Ew, that's gross. um today's Thursday and I am I think it's like 10 days out from my show now I just got finished with fasted cardio and now I'm walking my dog this is what I do all the time after I do cardio I just walk the dog and yeah um, so yesterday, yesterday I got like a, um, a, a massage. It was, I didn't document it, I said I would, but I didn't because I was shy. But it really freaking hurt. Anyways, there was so much noise. Um, but yeah, now I'm like super sore. Everything, everything literally hurts. Like my legs, my arms. Honestly, like if you've never gotten like a massage, like a deep, massage especially if you're training in the gym all the time it's like I thought oh I don't need that like for what but it really does help you like with everything and then I started posing and it was like it made such a huge difference so I did that yesterday um, yeah I didn't document it but I was in pain for sure um, so yeah now I'm just walking my dog and I will see what else I do today today's my low carb day so I might show you guys what I eat I might probably I will <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So I'm making my morning eggs. <laughs> And I always get questions on how like I cook my thick eggs and all I do is I put the heat on high um, and let it be like that for a while and then it has to like create this you know pancake like consistency like it'll come out thick and then I like to season it with this nacho cheddar seasoning and then I use the everything but the bagel seasoning by Trader Joe's and I just like sprinkle that on top and then it'll come out like a pancake. I'll show you guys when it's done. <gasps> this is the oatmeal that I use every, pretty much every morning. Um, it's the 100 calories better oats. I put that in the microwave for two minutes and that's how you get the perfect oats. <laughs> I also get asked about how much water to put in. Like this is literally how I make it. Like when, sometimes when I want it watery, I'll put a little bit more water than normal. Today I did put more water than normal and then it'll be in the microwave for two minutes. And then, yeah. <laughs> so this is what the egg looks like. It's I don't think it's ready to flip yet. Um, I'll test it out right now, but you wanna make sure like the edges are like nicely, you know, done. So, and then it'll flip. So let's see if it flips. Boom! Flipped it. Beautiful. <laughs> Impressive. I know. I know. Boom. Beautiful pancake. Pancake egg. <laughs> So this is my completed breakfast, so delicious. So since I'm extra, I like to put some cinnamon in my oatmeal and then I'll put some pink Himalayan sea salt in there. Mix it all together and that is breakfast for today. I'm gonna add some Cholula to the eggs, but yeah. So good, low carb, delicious. I just got back from Walmart <laughs> and by the way like I literally I never shop at Walmart like 
I just, I don't know, it's too many people, it's too much going on, but for some reason I was like, I'm bored, let me go to Walmart, see what they have, and oh my gosh, they have so many things, like, I mean, it's really good for like seasoning, I guess, and stuff, because obviously about prep life, you know, seasoning <laughs> is super important for your food, especially when it's plain as fuck, so I'll show you guys what I got at Walmart right now. So this is a couple of the items that I got. Um, it's not like too much, but it's more of like the seasonings that I was like super excited about. <laughs> so first thing I was really excited about was this sugar-free barbecue sauce that I found at Walmart. Um, yeah, it's amazing because literally, look, a fishing focuses. Oh my gosh, really? Well, anyways, it has two carbs for two tablespoons, 10 calories. I mean, what the heck? I've never seen barbecue sauce like that. Like, that's so cool. And then I got some sugar-free gel, jelly, no sugar added ketchup, some dill mustard, some more mustard. I love mustard. I put mustard on everything. And then just some seasoning that I, I don't put on popcorn, but I put it on, you know, just like food. <laughs> and then some tajin for my cucumbers, and then some Cholula, of course. I put that on everything. And then I got some shredded lettuce. Um, I got some Power Crunch bars. These are the bars that I eat all the time. I have one a day, pretty much. And then I found this Joseph's pita bread. Um, for one, for one pita bread, it's 60 carbs and it's, I mean not 60 carbs, it's 10 grams of carbs and it's only 60 calories for one. And they're like pretty, like good size, like they're like thick. So I'm happy about that. And then I got some, of course, rice cakes. I love rice cakes. The chocolate ones are my favorite. These are definitely higher in carb and in calories. Um, so I can only like one, <laughs> but the salted lightly salted ones. They're not bad 45 calories seven carbs So I mean, it's not terrible And then the last thing I got was some meat. So I just got some the turkey breast cutlets. They're extra lean Jenny O and then I got some turkey ground turkey breast 99% lean and yeah, that's pretty much all I got I just I was so excited about all of like the seasonings that were at Walmart because like when you're dieting and your food is plain as fuck, like, like these so plain, like you have to have seasoning or else like it won't be good. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I got at Walmart. So I have never made this before, but it looked really good. I'm making their turkey breast cutlets. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna make like a little sandwich out of this and that's what they look like. So we'll see how this comes out. It looks really freaking good. All I, I mean, I just seasoned it with um, some of this steak seasoning. Whoa, why is it not focusing? There we go, steak seasoning. So we'll see how it comes out. So I just created something really cool. <laughs> so I got those little pita breads that I said that I bought and then I put some like some of the barbecue sauce on it and then just some spinach and then I have some turkey and I can eat two of them but like how freaking good oh my gosh that looks amazing I'm so excited what's up guys so today I think it's the next it's the next day already um it's Friday May 18th 2018 I am currently I'm almost one week out from my show um so this morning I did my fasted cardio and then I walked my dog and then I picked up a Starbucks drink because I wanted it. <laughs> um, I know I just got a cold brew, three pumps of sugar-free vanilla, nothing crazy. Um, and then I have my breakfast here. I have the egg white pancake thing, and then I have some turkey bacon, and then I have my cinnamon roll oatmeal. So yeah, I'm gonna eat that. And then later today, I'm going to pick up my bikini, which I'm super excited about. Um, so yeah, I'll probably be doing like a little physique update for you guys with that. And yeah, that's what I have going on right now. So I will talk to you guys in a bit. Hopefully I will look more put together. No, probably not. <laughs> this is literally me, that prep life. I don't get ready. I don't put on makeup. Like I'm in the gym all the time. For what? Like for what? You know? So I'll talk to you guys in a bit.
what's up guys I'm drinking my bang I'm about to head into an f45 training class I'm pretty excited um, I'm scared because I've never done that before I've heard it's like really hardcore conditioning for 45 minutes so bang all the way <laughs> I'll let you guys know how it went I'm probably gonna be dying but I'm excited so let's do this oh my gosh so I just got done with the F45 training class holy crap oh my gosh I'm like dying <laughs> so it's literally like it's it's intense cardio for 45 minutes um, and it's 45 seconds at each, each station and oh wow it's such a good workout it's such like a community environment um, but yeah if you've never tried it like literally I highly recommend it it's such a good workout it's definitely different obviously than weight training it's cardio but like it's so good and I'm really glad that I tried it it was it's definitely out of my comfort zone because it's not how I normally would train but it was really good and now man <laughs> really great cardio so I do recommend it but now I'm gonna eat because I'm freaking hungry so yeah <laughs> oh my god my glasses also broke so that's why they look all stupid <laughs> What's up guys? Oh my gosh, my hair. <laughs> um, so this is a different day. This is a whole new clip. I just kind of wanted to wrap up what you just saw in the previous clips. Um, that was the mock show that I did this past Sunday um, for my show coming up this weekend. By the way, today I am now Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, three days out from the show and I have more um, like another video that's going to come up. But this video was from the previous week. And I wanted to kind of just talk about what I noticed about myself um, on Sunday. So basically, everything, I think I look great. Like, my hamstrings are finally popping. Um, my obliques are good and stuff. It's just, I really struggle with trying to keep it tight. I don't know why my stomach, it's like, like, I don't know if I get nervous or like what, but I really just have to like, like suck it in, you know what I mean? So, um... And I did drink a lot, a lot of water <laughs> um, before like that, so it was probably a bad idea, but that was just a mock show, that was just a pretend, not pretend, um, just like practice for the actual show coming up this weekend, which I'm excited about, so you guys will see that coming up in the next like videos, I think, we'll see. But yeah, so I just wanted to wrap up this, um, the whole clip and talk about what I need to work on, which is basically... Just slowing it down, keeping it chill, you know, sucking in my stomach, really just, like, it's kind of hard to explain it, like, I don't even know how to explain it, it's because it's something that I'm definitely working on, but just really sucking it in and just, like, keeping it tight the whole time is something that's really important, especially, you know, when you're up there in a freaking half-naked self, so, anyways, I wanted to wrap this clip up since I... 
I'm still new to vlogging and you know I don't know how to wrap up clips <laughs> on the day that it's done anyways so yeah I'll talk to you guys in the next video thank you for watching bye